This is how to practice tying the knot that goes on the inside of the harp. Once you break a string, you'll get the joy of replacing it. So I'm gonna practice with my earbuds. Um, this is a great way to practice. I would recommend um, also having a pencil handy. We're gonna use that to simulate the string end that will go inside of the knot once we're done tying it. So I'm gonna take the short end in my left hand and the longer end is gonna be in my right. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a P. So I'm gonna put that in front of the longer end. This is what it should look like. And I'm gonna hold this in my right hand. And then I'm gonna make a backwards P with my left hand. So you have this string. And I'm gonna make it so that the bottom part of the P is also underneath. This is what it should look like. Hold both points with your thumbs. Take the left side and put it behind the right P and inside. I'm gonna move it over to the right and this is what it should look like. I'm gonna hold the entire knot with my left hand. Then I'm gonna pull down with my right. The original big P is gonna come down. You're at this point right now, you've just made your knot. I'm gonna take your pencil right now, put it inside the knot. This is gonna serve as the anchor I'm gonna slide it all the way in so you can see that. And then I'm gonna really tighten this by using my right thumb and pushing up and pulling down with all four fingers holding onto that. At this point, you've made your knot. You're gonna make a double knot now with a long part of the string. You're gonna turn this and make another P. You're gonna wrap this on top of the entire knot. I'm gonna show you that one more time. So the string is open. I'm gonna make a P. I'm gonna take this, put it over the anchor, over here now. I'm gonna hold this knot with my left thumb and pull down with my right hand. I'm gonna have to push up a little bit too. And there, you've made your double knot. This part will end up being inside of your instrument. So this is gonna hold on to your the back of your soundboard.